Hello, I'd like to show you how to use an effector to affect parameters other than position, scale, rotation, and color uh, with cloner objects. Let's create a cube to start to show an example of this. And uh, what I want to do is I want to animate uh, cube clones that have different uh, fillet uh, radii. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to drop this cube into a cloner. I'm going to move these on the x-axis. Okay, and now let's, with this cloner object selected, let's create a plane effector. By default, the plane effector affects the y in position. I'm going to change this uh, first by changing the fall off from infinite to linear. This linear fall off is facing in the Z, so I want to change that to plus X. I'm going to increase the fall off to 100%, just so we have a nice gradual change, and then I'm going to stretch this out. So now if I drag this on the X axis, you can see it has this fall off that is going from zero to 100 in the Y axis. Okay, uh, I want to uh, use the same plane effector to affect the fillet radius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the cube and I'm going to label these. This is going to be the start cube. This is going to be the end cube. And I'm going to turn on the fillet on the first on the start cube. And in my start state, I'm going to set it to zero. If I didn't turn this on, it would have an abrupt change and it wouldn't be smooth. So I want to make sure that my fillet is set on or turned on and then have it set to zero. With this one, I'm going to turn it on and I'm just going to go with the default of 40 centimeters. Now what I'd like to do is set the cloner's clones mode from iterate to blend. Okay, I am certainly moving in the right direction. I want to go from this state to this state, but I want it to happen on a, a per instance basis. If I was to drag this here, um, well, first it's not doing what I want. I, I need to change the modify clone uh, parameter here from 0% to 100. Oh, oops, I don't know what I just did there. Um, yeah, so you can see if I'm dra as I'm dragging it, it's let me turn this position off just so it's clear what's going on here. It's affecting the uh, fillet radius, but this last one is the end of this uh, cloner. I'm going to call this the blend cloner. It's the end of this three count, so it's going from start to end, and this is already fully blended. So by the time I drag, oops. By the time I drag this plane effector over here, it's trying to blend something that's already been blended. So I, I'm uh, going to uh, show you uh, how you would fix this. First, you change the count to one, and then we're gonna drop this blend cloner into another cloner. Let me create a material just so it's easier to see what's going on here. Okay, uh, now on this uh, cloner that's just set to iterate the regular uh, the default uh, mode I'm going to change the Y to zero again and then space these out well, let's do say five cubes here and now if I drag my plane effector it's doing what I want it's transitioning between uh, this parameter for fillet radius So this is also uh, something you can do with, I'm gonna uh, change these, I'm gonna turn off the fillet and I wanna show another example. You can also use uh, deformer objects. So if I wanted to grab something like twist and then I'm gonna drop this under my in cube. I also wanna add this to the start cube so it can uh, see what needs to change between the start and end state. And in my end state, I'm going to change this to say, I don't know, something like 60 something. 
And then I'm going to now drag my, uh, oops, my plane effector. And you can see it's now uh, modifying the angle of the uh, twist deformers. All right, and in one final example, I created, uh, I'd seen this example online that was doing kind of what I wanted it to do. It was using the inheritance uh, effector, but it was really complex and I didn't need all that uh, uh, functionality. All I really wanted uh, to see was how to uh, change uh, parameters such as start and end growth or, or whatever. Um, and in this example, I have a sweep NURBS uh, that I've created that is going from 0% in the end growth to 100% in the end growth. And if I move this plane effector, which I have animated, it's transitioning between that blend between the two end growth states. I also have a uh, material on this with a color shader, which is applying this white color to these uh, as this uh, plane effector passes. And the plane effector just has the color mode set to on. So it's going from uh, black, no color, to this uh, color shader color. So that's a way you would uh, transition uh, color and then still be able to like keep stuff like specular reflection or whatever else you want to add. So that's it. That is how you affect uh, uh, other parameters with effectors uh, for your clone instances. And I uh, hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.